Hi everyone and welcome back to Zunova. In this video I'd like to show you a new feature. It's performing a back test using the AI machine learning models on any of the stocks that we cover. So what you would simply do is go into any one of these AI modules. Right now I'm in the AI S&P 500 analyst module. Now scroll down and you'll see all the different stocks that represent the S&P 500 and their predictions both for price and for alpha. In this case for October 15th. I'm going to select Apple and scroll across and you'll see how the predictions go from one day out to one year. And as I get to the end you'll start seeing the charts and then of course I can see the chart prediction for one year and this in blue is historical and what it's predicting now for Apple one year out is in red. But I can also now see how well this model performed a year ago. So one year ago and then projecting one year forward and bench testing that against actual prices. So if I click on the one day to the two week back test, I can see in blue again the actual prices of Apple and I can see from a year ago what was projected. And I can see that from one day to 14 days the projected error rate was 2.18 percent and the mean accuracy of the machine learning model from one day to 14 days was 97.82 percent. Close that and I can go to the next one, one day to four weeks and I can see here out to roughly one month from one day the error rate was about 2.02 percent but the mean accuracy rate of the AI models was about 97.98 percent. Go out one more and in this case I'm out to roughly two months and again I can see a little bit more in terms of error 2.73 percent mean accuracy is 97.27 percent and again this is a good way of actually seeing how well the model performed there'll be another graph below the line chart and this will actually show you on the different days the difference in price between the actual versus the predicted so I can see where everything is falling I can see it gets a little bit higher out here as we move to instead of daily we move to uh, monthly intervals and um, this gives you a very very good idea of the overall accuracy let's go back and look at one week again two weeks I'm sorry and look at the accuracy here and we can see again where those differentials are between the actual on each day and the projected or the predicted. So I hope this helps in terms of seeing overall accuracy and getting a good idea of how that model has performed in the past and going forward. Thank you.